but obviously the matchup we're all talking about. Georgia ranked number one in the AP poll during the season Come for on. the first time since 1982. And they're taking on the Wildcats, who are in full Lion O mode. That's right, Thundercats, because they're 6 and 0. Oh, see what I did there? For the second time ever and for the first time since 1950. That's a long time, and I'm old. The Bulldogs have won each of the past 11 meetings. So, in the process, remember, Kentucky has have been held to three points over the last two meetings, and now they're going to take on a Georgia defense that is absolutely ridiculous. This is Kirby Smart talking about the matchup. It's the next game on the schedule, and it's that simple. It's a really physical, tough game. They've got a great uh, program. Coach Stoops done a tremendous job, but for us, it's the, it's the next opportunity to go out and uh, take one step closer to our goal. It's something that you dream of, you know, I mean, not a lot of people get to play number one teams in the country, and uh, it's just a way to go out there and play on a big stage. It's a very big challenge. Georgia is playing some exceptional football, dominant on the defensive side of the ball, so uh, e extremely talented football team and very well coached. All right, it's time for our weekend wake up brought to you by Wendy's Breakfast. The Bulldogs have allowed two offensive touchdowns this season, equaling the number of defensive touchdowns they've scored. No other defense has allowed fewer than five touchdowns, and no other SEC defense has allowed fewer than ten. That's right, that Georgia defense is as good as a Frosty Chino. They are delight. Check them out. Emac, here's the question. Does Georgia actually have any weakness? Not, not on that defense, not what you're seeing there. I mean, these guys are playing out of their mind. It, it starts up front with one of the best defensive lines in all of college football. These linebackers fly around. I'm pretty sure each and every linebacker has registered a sack that's on the entire roster. It, it's impressive to see. These guys have been nothing short of dominant all season long. It, but if there is a concern, if there is an area that I'm, you know, kind of looking at under a microscope here, it's probably going to be quarterback play because we've seen them able to run the ball all over anybody any given Saturday, but there might come a day, Acho, there might come a day where they need to throw that thing vertically and rely on quarterback play, and I'm not sure if they can. Yeah, and that would be my only weakness. If Georgia has a weakness, do not dare say Georgia defense and weakness in the same sentence because they are not weak, but offensively <laughs> with Stetson Bennett and JT Daniels. JT Daniels has been injured. JT Daniels started the season. Stetson Bennett was on the team last year, and he didn't do as well. Yes, he has improved this year, but there's no denying that JT Daniels has the arm to get the ball downfield. Now, don't get it wrong. Georgia's been putting up 60 multiple times, and maybe they might not be tested this week, but down the line, you're going to need a quarterback who can push the ball downfield. A lot of people believe, and I believe, that JT Daniels is that guy. So weakness right now, no. But could it be a, a problem in a few weeks? You, you bet it. You bet yeah, so. I mean, but let's summarize this, guys. You're saying the only weakness is the quarterback position, and that's not the best situation in football. So, Acho, I'll ask you, how can Kentucky do the impossible and pull off the upset? Well, it's not so impossible. It's just extremely, extremely difficult. The way that Kentucky can do the extremely, extremely difficult is relying on their run game. They have the number one running back in the SEC in Chris Rodriguez. But it's not only him. It's their offensive line, right? He runs behind a dominant offensive line, number one. And if he's not toting that pill for 128 yards a game, they got a guy, number zero, Cabassier Smoke, who can tote that pill as well. So you got to do the little things. Well, I had a coach who said little things done well make big things happen. Lean on 24, lean on zero. But then, if the running game is going to be stopped, which you probably expect it will be, you got to get the ball from your quarterback, Will Levis, transfer from Penn State, to that man, that dude, number one. You got the dude who's like a freaking monster, Juan Dale Robinson. Get the ball in his hands, and he will make plays. Tacho, you're speaking my love language, man. You talk about number one offensive line in the SEC. Those big uglies up front for the Wildcats, man, they're so fun to watch, and they've really had a great season. And, of course, with C-Rod, everything comes easy with that young man running as hard and as powerful, really like a, a mini uh, Benny Smell, Snell, maybe a little faster than Benny Snell was. And I'm right there with you. I think the X factor in this game is going to be the play-action pass. You have such a great running attack not only with Rodriguez, but with your quarterback, Levis, as well, that hopefully that opens up some things, and that allows, okay, those DBs, that secondary to start creeping up, and then you hit the man, just as you said, down the field in Robinson, who can take the top off. He's so athletic. So I think if there is a chance 
It's going to be ugly. It's going to be close. And it's going to have to be from the play action uh, passing game to get in the end zone. Well, I'm going to ask the question here, and I'll just stay off Twitter for the rest of the day after I ask this. Like, who is Kentucky really? Because check this schedule out. I'm not saying that Kentucky has feasted on the week, but maybe they're can lucky. I'm just saying when you have this many games that have been <laughs> one-score games and you win them, at some point that does normalize. It hasn't been the toughest schedule, and some of the games have been a little bit, a little bit tight. So I think we'll get a better indication of who Kentucky is, is this weekend. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.